and I'm Debbie Reynolds with Florida Suncoast Real Estate, and I'm also your 2021 RPAC chairperson. With me today is the one and only Barry Grimes, who happens to be the 2020 Florida Realtors president. President right here. <laughs> Come on. Um, today, I'd like to talk to you a little bit and pick your brain about RPAC and about major investment. One of my favorite topics. So Barry, as a 20-year veteran in the real estate business and in a successful company, what has RPAC done for you? Wow, uh, the list is too long. What I'll do for the sake of time, I'll explain what it's done for us. April 1st, Governor DeSantis signed an executive order. We locked down Florida people, but not realtors. We were able to remain essential because of the hard work of the PAC and the people in Tallahassee. So that was the first and foremost that has really made an impact on our business this year. And quite frankly, we're having some of the best years that we've ever had. Uh, the other part is the tax benefits. You know, it's, it, those are the things that the taxes aren't so sexy, but you know, from a, from a benefit standpoint, from somebody buying a second home or an investment property here in Florida, we are so friendly and we've made sure we're gonna continue to whittle away at both residential and commercial, thanks to RPAC. The other part is attainable workforce housing. You know, the deductions and the affordability and the attainability and the down payment assistance has always been key at our growth in the state of Florida. And things like the Sadowski Fund, while this year, because of the economic impacts of COVID, uh, sometimes, you know, those have to be swept into general funds. But I will tell you that next year, the commitment is there to replenish the funds for the Sadowski Act and make sure that those first time home buyers can come in and, and get the homes that they want affordably. Uh, some of the other things that I think are important are those like those crazy HOAs and condo associations with these fees. They were called estoppel and nobody knew what an estoppel fee was until it became a big deal. But the realtor organization did and RPEC took care of that. Um, the one that I love the most though has been water quality. You know, Governor DeSantis has done an amazing job this year at making sure the, the environment is at the front. Uh, just millions and millions of dollars. That didn't happen by accident. That happened by the realtor organization working with some other affiliate partners and putting our money where our mouth is into RPAC. We were able to make sure that those funds not only were allocated, but there's a future commitment for that as well. Because let's face it, nobody comes to Florida for the, for the mountains. Some of the other little things that I think are important in my daily business and people like you in my office are these little things like sign ordinances or having permits or the size of your signs. Well, you know as well as I do as an owner of a company and as a successful agent, when you have a lot of signs, that's a big financial impact that they're not thinking about. And it lets people like Max Brando, our governmental affairs director for a raisin, uh, have a seat at the table and make sure that when these things are being crafted, he's part of the process and not part of a defensive measure. So that's what it's done for me in recent history. That is awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, what has becoming a major investor in our pack uh, been important? Well, I tell you, it, it's, it's been taught and, and crafted in a message over time that maybe it's an insurance policy or, or maybe it's a defense mechanism. And I don't think it is. It's a good offensive mechanism. I want you to think of the realtor pack and your realtor family as your castle. And all of your people, your friends, your family, your customers, your agents, uh, that you're in the castle. Well, a castle is only as strong as its best or weakest defense. Our pack hardens that castle by putting in the moat, putting in the drawbridge, putting in the razor wire, putting up the cannons and the, you know, those flaming arrow things that you see back from the movies. But more importantly, it provides a safe environment for me to run a business where my associates can take really good care of the homeowners and make sure that there is a defense for them when needed for their private property rights and to make sure that people don't come after things like sales tax on our commission. It's been tried before and don't think it couldn't happen again. So, I mean, how would you like to get a commission check and have six, seven, eight percent come right off the top and go to Uncle Sam? Not so much. Not so much. Not so much. Well, thank you for that insight. And lastly, I'd like to ask you, uh, how, what are the steps? How do you invest in our pack? <coughs> <laughs> call Max Brando. No, seriously, you can go online at floridarealtors.org and there's a way to do it, but I will tell you, if you still have questions about PAC, and PAC has been a dirty word in a lot of people, right? I mean, let's face it. The PAC is not red, the PAC is not blue. The PAC is you. The PAC is the realtor party. And it, it funds it funds assurance policies through people like Max, some of our initiatives, 
some of the issues mobilization that we have to go through, and funding the right campaigns to make sure that those candidates become realtor champions, regardless of their party affiliation. But I also, you know, since we're amongst friends here, I hear tell it <laughs> that this year's RPAC committee has done something really creative. So when you call Max, ask him about the special deal you heard on Debbie and Barry's video. Now, we might be able to provide some information to get a hold of Max down here somewhere, who knows? If not, call the Realtor Association of Sarasota Manatee, ask Max about the program that Barry and Debbie were talking about on the video, he'll hook you up. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day. And I know that the association and the members definitely appreciate you. So Debbie, thank, thank you, you so for much. your leadership as the okay. committee chair next year and as a major investor. Thank you, you're welcome. Thank you.